This video to our presentation of Coates International Limited, brought to you by AlpineStocks.com. Coates is a bullet board listed company trading on ticker COTE. See, this tried to make a nice move on Friday. Actually, a huge move at one point, from 25 cents all the way up to 40 cents. Couldn't hold the gains throughout the course of the day, slipped back down to 30 cents. But it's sitting on a pretty good support level right now. So this is going to hit the watch list this week to see if it's going to hold this 200-day, that support level, and try and make a climb again like it tried on Friday. Now you can see, I would say, a pretty sharp drop in the MACD. Instagram trending back towards zero now. A bullish cross could be coming of the signal line. All good things tied into the support level. PPO in a very similar position as the MACD. Buying pressure on Friday gave the ADX a bullish look. Positive DI shot right through the ADX itself. Turned that negative DI down pretty hard. And we're starting to see a slight uptrend right now in the ADX itself. So in a little bit longer term, we're going to look at this just to try and continue its uptrend. Still plenty of room for movement in this point of the ADX. MFI is trying to come out of drastically oversold territory. Seeing a little bit of upward movement in all three of them at this point. Accumulation distribution. It's pretty normal for this to try and turn back down when you see a long upper shadow like that or a black candle. So I'm not terribly surprised that we didn't see a big upturn in the accumulation distribution. But what I'd look for at this point is just try and hold a level. Somewhere right through there. It was basically a channel. It's kind of sitting on it right now. I just want to see it break this little downward channel that it's in. That would be important for me to try and hold this area and make a rotation. Shaking money flow is still down in the red, showing selling pressure is still dominant, but trying to make some higher lows. And I always like to see this commodity channel making its turn and start to move upward. Pretty nice look for a bottom play in the CCI right now. And the full stow is making a little bit of a higher low, still in oversold territory. But it does look like it's trying to generate a little bit of momentum. Again, very early on, stock's been on a pretty decent fall. But when you're trying to catch bottoms, you have to look for things early on. It's never going to be perfect, otherwise it's basically a momentum play. The tricks, people that follow our charts know that you're just not going to get anything from the tricks at this point. It never is a good indication for something that's fallen like this. But we try and always use the same indicators just to keep things consistent. Of course, the RSIs, they indicate momentum straight upward. Now you can see it does it on relatively low volume, 91,000 shares traded. Got 95,000 shares, probably a little bit less than normal. Because you can see in through here, it can trade a fair amount of shares, about 800,000 shares traded back here in May. But it can also drop some pretty low volume days in there. So what I'd be looking for here is to see a little bit more volume. We want to see it keep picking up a little bit throughout the course of the week. To show that people are seeing this as a buying opportunity. And I really have my eye on that quarter mark to hold. Perhaps as low as 24, you can see it was a resistance area right through here. But that resistance kind of runs all the way up to 27 cent mark. But because of the recent trading, 25 cents is where I'm going to have my sight set. And because it's closed at 30 cents, I try to keep my stop loss in a pretty close proximity to it. So if I was using TA to trade this stock, I'd be looking at that 27, 27 and a half cent mark because that keeps me about 10% away. See how it's trading, check out the bid ask. If it wants to dip down, I'd really want to see it hold 25. Now from a resistance standpoint, I'd look right there around 35 cents. Now it's a pretty decent upside, it's almost 20% before it meets any real resistance. That's something that you always look for. And that's where I'd have my eyes set on this if it wants to try and continue the upward movement. Beyond that, I'd be looking up here around 40 cents. Of course, that's right where it hit on Friday. There's the 50-day moving average right in that area. It's a 33% upside from where it is, so it's a very significant move. And I'd expect that to be a pretty tough spot for it. But things that we always talk about with bottom plays and classic TA are in effect right here. If this can go up and challenge 35 cents, come back down, hold itself a new support level at a higher load than this 25 cents, and try and put itself together an uptrend and allow these indicators to try and turn themselves out and start trending back upward. It's pretty rare that you'd see a snap down and a straight back up move. You'd see something that starts to trend upward and slowly oscillate, work its way back towards zero, and that helps identify a true bottom. So these aren't necessarily one day plays. Of course you break them down into the near term to see what you're looking for in the chart, but in the longer term you start to pay attention to it and see how it performs and you always look for some higher lows and then things like volume increases to take out resistance and the true turning of the indicators to identify if this is found at bottom I'm going to try and make up some of this ground that it's lost from 75 cents all the way down to a quarter. So those are the type of things that I'm going to be looking for in the COTE chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. I strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor and licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.